lamenting the ordeal of the people of southern Kaduna who are at the receiving end of continuous killings as a result of constant attacks on sleeping communities, the elder statesman expressed worry over the way suspected gunmen get into the country unchecked. General Lecoq said, The people of southern Kaduna have over the years lived in peace with other tribes, including herders, with their conflict resolution mechanism, which did not allow any disagreement escalate into conflict. He was quick to commend the federal government who heeded to their recent call for additional security personnel in the area. The octogenarian, while calling on the people to see peace as priceless, informed the executive secretary of the Nigerian Christian Pilgrim Commission of their readiness and those of their people to work towards them. We must also accept that what is happening here also takes place in other in some other parts of the country, which means it's a national problem. Government has a duty to do the needful by flashing them out so that life can return to normal. Mm. So I believe with prayer things will work. August in this part of the country is the peak of the rainy season. If as a result of these attacks, the farmers cannot access their farmlands. They can't tend to their crops. What does that mean for the food chain and the welfare of the people? So that is even the bigger danger. Ilya, Executive Secretary, Nigerian Christian Pilgrim Commission, Reverend Yaku Pam, informed the elder statesman and other elders of Southern Kaduna that he was in his residence condole with them over the recent loss of lives and property as a result of attacks that took place in their area. He added that, as elders and leaders of Southern Kaduna, the honors rest on them to sue for peace. You are the fathers of the land. Whatever we will do, if your blessing is not there, it will not work. Most of us here are like your errand boys, your sons, Look at us as your servants. So there is in no way history will forget your effort in fighting for the peace of this country and in building Nigeria to what it is today. The Executive Secretary, on arrival in Kiruna, made with executives of the Southern Kaduna People's Union, Sokapu, where its national president, Jonathan Asaki, expressed worry and called for the immediate arrest and prosecution of the perpetrators of such dastardly acts as a panacea to peace in the troubled areas. So they should apprehend them and prosecute them. Let justice not only be done, but must be seen to be done. That these people must be compensated. Reparations should be given by the government to help them to start a new life. While in audience with the Southern Kaduna Autonomous Community Development Association Forum, led by its chairman, Dr. Zuahu Bonnet, Reverend Yaku Pam, was informed of the desire of the Southern Kaduna indigents to embrace peace, stating that genuine effort from government is all they yearn for. In all the meetings, the Executive Secretary, Reverend Yakubu Pam, said, plans are on the way to hold a three-day summit, sometimes in September, to dialogue of possible ways for finding solutions to the continuous attacks in Southern Kaduna. It will be recalled that the Executive Secretary of the NCPC, who is also the Chairman, Christian Association of Nigeria Northern Zone, has been championing the need for peace in Southern Kaduna. The peace mission is ongoing with engagement with other groups already planned. This is Roland Lance.